Hey gang, Spade here, and today we are taking a look at the Mega Bloks Halo set, USN Gauss Hog vs. Covenant Locust. Pick this up at uh, Toys R Us for about 40, 43 bucks, and I just really wanted to pick up a, uh, a Mega Bloks set of the Halo stuff, because I just think the what they've been doing with the series has been really, really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the box around, see what's in, see what all is in here. We get the uh, Halo Locust, which is the uh, smaller version of the Scarab for the Covenant Fleet. The modified Warthog called the Goss Hog. And we get a bunch of little figures. We get a Grunt, an Elite, and it looks like we get uh, two UNSC Spartans. As you can see here on the side are some other things you could get. Uh, I really want to get the Scorpion Tank, the Warthog setup, and... I don't know what this is. I want to get one of these because I want to see that. That thing just looks pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get into the building of the unit. So what all do you get in that box? Well, there we go. Actually, the box is only about halfway full, if that. And you get a, a nice set of sticker sheets, and I have to admit, I really do dig these stickers. They look really nice. A bunch of bags of parts, and as I've built some Halo Mega Blocks in the past, the, uh, the actual bags represent um, parts that you're going to build what unit. The bags each contain parts for particular units, like uh, this whole bag probably contains just about everything for this guy while these bags over here probably contain everything for this guy. Also, I really do dig the fact that the Mega Bloks uh, Halo sets are painted. Uh, they're not, they're camo painted. I really do dig that. And then it also comes with a little uh, Join the Halo Army Mega Block thingy. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the set. Now the one thing I do love that uh, Mega Bloks does with its Halo sets and all its other sets is it gives you an actual map of every single piece that should be in the uh, in the box. So you've got not only do you have your little grunt and your Halo figure or your Master Chief figure and the Elite, but you've got all the pieces that are supposed to form the the Locust and all the pieces that are to form the Warthog. Now, there are most likely going to be pieces left over, but we'll get into that when we get the building done. So, uh, and speaking of which, let's go ahead and get started. One thing I did want to show you very quickly is that each of the little figures are in their own individual plastic baggies. So here we have the Grunt, and then we've got the Elite, the Elite's uh, Plasma Sword with some kind of weird connector. And then finally, the two Spartans, who can't seem to focus. There we go. So they're pretty much the same Spartans that uh, were in the Mongoose set, and the Elite's the same as well, but that's okay. The um, Spartans do have uh, some pallet rifles around here somewhere, but I'll find that in a little bit, and we'll show you that later. Please hang up and try again.
here we have the completed product. Now, this figure set does come with a sticker sheet, a very nice, well-detailed sticker sheet that I have upside down. Unfortunately, I did not have time to apply these stickers. I just haven't had the chance to. And the, the set, even though it yields two very cool vehicles, does end up with uh, quite a bit left over, I have to say. Uh, you can really come up with something with all that extra stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at them individually. First off, we will take a look at our little grunt here. He does not come with a weapon, so I went ahead and made him one out of the extra bits. He can hold the plasma sword, though uh, it does make him incredibly top-heavy. He has very limited articulation. His arms do move, his legs do swivel, and his head moves a little bit. I'm glad they included him, but he doesn't have anything to do. He can't pilot the Locust. He can't do anything except, um, well... So we're going to take a look at the Locust first, and I really, really love this look. It's like a Scarum, or I'm sorry, Scarab, but significantly smaller, and this figure show, or this uh, vehicle showed up in the Halo's Wars video game. The ratchets are nice and tight, and you could get a lot of decent little poses with this figure. But the one thing you do have to realize is there is some give in the ratchets. So they're not super tight, but they are tight enough that they'll hold the figure up in a variety of poses. The one thing I did notice is what just happened here. A lot of times when you go to pose it, it'll just swivel like that. And unfortunately, it looks like mine might be a little on the loose side because these things swivel very, very easily. But it's honestly not that big of a deal. The overall look of the figure is very cool, and I can see kids having fun with this thing. The canopy is very easily accessed, and there's the little uh, elite figure right there, driving it like you would a motorcycle. <laughs> But uh, this is a very, very cool setup. I really, really love the way this thing looks. And it just looks really uh, formidable on my shelf. Now, even though the Locust looks very cool, the reason I really wanted this set was because of the Warthog. I just love, love, love the look of this vehicle. It's got a suspension built into it, which is very cool. And it just looks awesome. You can... Uh, you can actually attach the uh, figure, or one of the Spartan figures, to the back here via these uh, nicely placed little pegs. It, the uh, gun on the back moves and pivots and just gives you a really nice look. Both figures can ride in the, uh, in the vehicle, and I just I absolutely adore the Warthog. It's one of my favorite vehicles in video games. Uh, I just really love the Warthog look. It's just phenomenal. It's Mega Bloks really did a bang up job when they created uh, the the Warthog set. I just absolutely love the Warthog. It doesn't hurt that uh, I I really it doesn't hurt that I really really like the Warthog to begin with. Now that's not to say that this thing is perfect. Uh, I do have one major issue with it, and that actually has to do with the suspension. Uh, the rubber wheels are very, very nice. Are a very nice touch, but there's nothing to prevent the wheels from just dropping. I mean, the whole chassis just drops. There's nothing holding the chassis up, and I would have liked to have seen something that gave it at some actual suspension or some resistance. Also, um, my my Mega Block set specifically with this. It falls apart rather e not falls apart. That is not a good term. It comes apart rather easily. You can see, especially over here, there are some real rough edges. And just for me picking it up and just kind of going like that, it's already starting to come apart a little bit. Now that just might be clearance, but I have had the canopy pop off a couple of times. Now, that being said, being able to disassemble the set is actually pivotal to play because you can act like it's damaged, which is very, very cool. So overall, would I recommend this set? I would recommend this set wholeheartedly. You have two very iconic, or at least in the Locust case, semi-iconic figures or sets here. You're getting for 
really the price of a very expensive, or not a very expensive set, of a larger set, you're getting two very cool vehicles. And the difference in engineering for the Covenant versus the UNSC is evident. Uh, aliens versus humans. I mean, you can't get much more, uh, much more Hollywood than that. But overall, this set was a lot of fun to build and just looks fantastic on the shelf. And you're getting it a ton of play because these little figures, unlike uh, other building brands, have posability. I mean, they can pose. They've got knees. They've got hips. They've got movement in the in the shoulders and in the torso and in the head. Ball joints. I mean, ball joints and a little figure like this. Just absolutely phenomenal. So I would definitely pick this one up. Like I said before, at the beginning of the review, I picked this up at Toys R Us, and I believe that this set is still available, but it's definitely available on uh, online. So go ahead and get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed.